Okay, Rain Carcass, it's day three, Global War 36. So I'm um, just going to start here in Hawaii because it's one of the bigger things that happened. This um, monstrous fleet of, uh, what is that, five, six, seven battleships and uh, a couple carriers and whatnot came in and uh, they shore bombarded uh, Hawaii and then uh, Hawaii had four Marines on there. But uh, after the shore bombardment, they were left with one. And then they just got hit by everything else here, the planes and whatnot. So um, the Americans are starting to work their way across the uh, Pacific towards uh, the Japanese again. Taking Hawaii back. I don't know if they're going to come down here, if they're going to go up there. I have no idea. Japan's still got lots of ships, though. That uh, card right there here is all sitting right next to whole Japan there. So it's... Uh, I don't know, that's going to be a lot of, de a lot of dead wreckage in the, in the water there. Uh, Australia, not much happened there. Uh, Japan took over Malay down here and Hong Kong. And those red bastards came in the backside of uh, Russia here. So I'm going to have to start putting some stuff over here. I'm, I'm down to a dude in a militia. That's not very, very good defense. So I'm going to have to build some stuff. Uh, what else happened here? Nothing really happened down here. Uh, Leningrad, Russia came in there and spanked me in Leningrad. And then uh, I, all those guys that moved into Leningrad there came out of Moscow. And I totally fluked out those Katyushkas and my one artillery, all five of them got a first strike hit. So, uh, yeah, he didn't have a lot to shoot back at me on round one. Basically, he's a real prick. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, over here, the Russians were going to come in and uh, attack a German fleet that was by itself. But the uh, Italians were there with their subs, and they chose to block me, so the Russians are stuck there. I don't have a lot of stuff in Portugal compared to what Germany's got, but uh, I, I don't think... Uh, I'm, I'm probably just going to hold that because uh, trying to fight uh, into mountains and whatever. My infantry only attack at one or two, so... I'm better off just holding it and defending it four. Um, other than that, the Americans have built a couple more ships and moved them across the way here. So, uh, Navy-wise, we're getting closer to even here if you add everybody up on the two sides of Gibraltar. But uh, so far, unless the Germans and the Italians take Gibraltar, they're still stuck in the mid on this side. They can come out the other side, though, and hassle everybody that way. And Britain has started to make a couple of uh, King George battleships. The, you know, the, they attack and defend the same, but they just move an extra space or something like that. Is yeah. that right? Okay, so. And other than that, um, not much has happened. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with Russia. I might be moving forward or I might be running a bunch of guys over to that side. That's a very smart move to give me a second front in Russia. All right. Okay, the Americans have uh, moved this giant stack of ships up over to there. Uh, there was a blocker in here from the Japanese, so they just went around it. We'll see what happens with that. There's only uh, three turns left, though, so they're going to need to get some transports loaded up and either landing or blockade Japan or do something to get Japan out of the game. Japan's still got quite a bit of navy, and um, a ridiculous amount of money was wasted on uh, repairing those battleships the the 2d6 roll per per ship is uh almost prohibitively expensive and uh yeah it's one of those things that uh we may need to house rule out of there and make it one or something like that it's ridiculous otherwise i don't think the japanese attacked anything else and america didn't attack anything else except for gibraltar there but uh germany took it last this past round and then uh the start of it you now uh, the Americans took it back but it's uh, only got one dude in there so it's probably I don't know what's gonna happen but we got this Italian Navy the German Navy with a Tur couple Turkish ships uh, an American Navy and a Russian Navy in the same spot there and then we got some British with the Russians so who knows what's going on uh, I noticed the Americans are building a bunch of dudes and they got a couple transports here so I don't know where that's headed but it's headed somewhere oh and they got some more down here in Brazil we'll see what happens and um, the Germans did kick the British out of uh, Belgium and over here uh, Leningrad moved forward I sent a few guys up into um, what is that uh, Vipiri and 
I only managed to keep one guy alive. They both rolled pretty good, but uh, down here, um, the stack that was in, what the heck is that called? Danette's Kuban or something like that. Split itself up, so I got two equal stacks here, so we'll see what happens. Moscow will move forward into Earl Kursk. But I still got this giant pile down here, which uh, I can't attack for anything with all of the infantry he's got and infantry I got. We're both uh, we're both really great defenders, but we can't attack anything. It's pretty much turned into a World War One trench there. And over here, I'm going to have to deal with these Japanese pretty soon, which means I'm going to have to slow down over there or do something here. Because they're going to be knocking on my door and taking that factory in a second. And I need that money. Right. Okay, two turns left. We just finished July 44. We're on January 45. Incomes still. The Germans are still doing pretty good. The Italians are doing about the same. Turkey, yeah. Britain's up a bit. Russia's, yeah, have been up and down. I'm up a bit now, but uh, I'm still losing a bunch of stuff, so... Tech is insane. There is tons of German tech and whatnot, and American tech and Russian tech and Japanese, and everybody's got tech. All right, so this giant fleet here, including all these guys on the island, are actually on that spot, and the dudes are on the island. There was a little blocker there, and they, they uh, that's where they went. Uh, there's this fleet here. I'm assuming all these dudes are on the island. Just a big mass of everything. There's even a cavalry in there. Who knew? <laughs> um, Japan came down and activated the uh, Netherlands, and then the uh, Anzacs Navy finally did something successful, and it uh, it uh, took out their ships there. It tried to take out some ships there, and uh, sadly just uh, you know missed and died. Uh, Japan's got a ton of red ships here, though, so. I don't know. I mean, they got a bunch of a big stack of battleships, but we'll see how that pans out. And Japan is seems to have consolidated up here, but I uh, built a few dudes up there, so we should be able to stop them if they keep coming, or maybe push them back a little bit, or just you know say, "Hey, how you doing?" on the border there. Um, Japan's got a lot less stuff down here than they used to have. They've been spit sending off on uh, islands here and there, so I think FEC's actually got more dudes, but they don't have a lot of hitters. They got a couple of planes and a tank over at this factory here, but that's it in Bombay. We'll see what they do with that. They only got two turns to move it. Um, France's capital still got a giant pile of oil, and uh, about two or three turns ago, we realized that we'll never, we're always getting more oil. We're never using it up, so we've kind of just stopped even counting it because. Russia's got four in a bank every turn. If it moves everything it can, it burning oil. So, um, this has been a little back and forth. The British and French took uh, Egypt, and then the Italians took it back. Uh, the biggest happenings of the board here are uh, right here. Uh, let's see. German Navy. Russians came in, fought the Germans. They beat them. Uh, then the British came in, fought the Italians, and got beat. Then the Italians came over and killed the Russians. And then the Americans came in and uh, that's what we got. So, yeah, that's four navies that died in the med in one turn, one round. Bunch of assholes from Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ganging up on me. Yeah. So, I'm not sure what's all going on down here. Transports came out of there, I think, and over there. It's been busy. America's been moving his crap all over the place. It owns everything in the... South and North America almost, or half of it. And um, up here, British are busy. They are working on a couple of those weird capital ships. Um, the big thing here, I got counterattacked, and then I counterattacked back. And I got some good rolls, and I was lucky enough to be able to outnumber the forces by uh, having stuff that could reach from multiple places, so... We'll see what's going on, because uh, he's still got quite a few stuff there in uh, Germany, so I'm, I don't see myself marching all the way in, especially only with two turns. So, depends on what kind of pressure he gets on the backside there. Otherwise, um, I'm going to end up finding a German wall in Warsaw and Romania, I think. Wall of tanks. Yeah. Oh, is that your purchases? Yeah, wall mm -hmm. of tanks. Wall of tanks. <laughs> yeah. 
So Fuck you. It's not, <laughs> not going to work well. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's it. We'll see how the next last two turns go. Okay. Hit. The Americans have moved into the far side of Japan, and that's Five, Japan. Six, seven. seven of nine. And that's the Americans. Let's just keep the keep them. I'm just going to watch these rules here. See what happens. We we'll just keep track of them. Two seven, battleships, two seven cruisers, or nine. four fighters. Tactical. Oh wait, 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 wait! Stop. For I've got two kamikazes, right? Yeah, oh, they use... don't. They're not for strength, so you can just use them now, like when you defend. Hmm. But like, uh, one thing I was gonna ask: Are they on his turn in this game or my turn? You can use them in defense or attack. Oh, okay. So I'm good. Good. Yeah. Defense. So what'd you get? Uh, one, two, three. Attack to the blockade. So but, uh, is that all of them? Total of four so far. Any naval combat in... Yeah, so four? Seasons. Okay. Just make sure you're rolling your fighters separately from the other planes, eh? Uh, okay, well, I'm on the eight spot right now. Okay, so... What do you want to roll first? Yeah, you're going to have to roll all of that stuff separately. Um, not all of it, but you know what I mean, right? Uh, do the two fighters separately. Two fighters at eight. Two hits. That's two planes. Two planes, yep. Um, that's and this one and, and this uh, one. Roll your tacticals. Your three at eight. Three at eight. They get target select one. Oh, yeah. Commander on both sides here, so everything's bumped up. So you two got hits. one target select. Two and hits. And one regular. Okay, so target select. So, so I'll say five and we'll take off one that you decide. Target select your battleship. Okay. You can take the battleship one off and I'm keeping score over here. He's got seven hits so far. I know, but uh, one of them was uh, that oh, yeah, and one, one of them was that. Ones. See? Okay, so I can take these die. Yeah. <clears throat> what next? Uh, three other fighters. Did I already roll those? Two? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you have your medium bomber at eight as well. One at eight. That's not targets left. I don't think. Four. That's... No. Okay. So that's six. Uh, th I have to do this separate. Yeah. Yeah. Because the fighters will take fighters. Okay. Two at seven. Those are the cruisers. One. One, okay. So that's one more. Three at seven. One. One. Okay, I'm not going to add that over there. I'll just move them down there. And four at five. One, two, three, four. Four. Um, so four, okay. And that's it. That's it. Okay, so, uh, oh, four ship. Um, four plus seven, eh? Yeah. Plus seven, yeah. So I gotta leave those there. So one, two, three, four, uh, I guess five, six, seven, eh? Okay, so, um, so that's done. Um, now I got two kamikazes, and they're at seven or less target selection at five or less. Damn, this can't happen. So I got one at two, missed. One at three, missed. Fuck. Two, four, five. Three. Wait, four. these are four, right? One, two, three. So three off you. And one at six. Oh, oh. Those take two. And the big carriers. Yeah. They take two hits each. And I, I just took one more hit. One more. So one more. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, 
So two cruisers at seven. Yep. So that's two hits. And I have four fighters. One, two. So two off your planes. Two battleships at nine. One. Shit. <coughs> roll better than that. Because all that stuff's done. Alright. Round one. <coughs> Survivors. Survivors. Let's see what happens. That's uh, kind of surprising me that uh, I thought you would get a few more there. Me? Yeah. You well, mean no, hits he, on? No, I'm... That he would uh, get more. Yeah. Four out of five. Yeah, if it was, wasn't for his he's got a lot more around here. Yeah. yeah, those... You know what happened? He put a lot of his destroyers out here. Four out of yeah. five. And I knew yeah, he didn't, didn't have a whole lot of smaller blockers, ships. Yeah. Two. It must be for his uh, transport. Okay, system. so that's two. Uh, one, two, three. Three at seven. One, two, three. So five. These are the kind of rolls I need. One, two, three, four, five. One, I still got two, two more hits. Do I have to separate these? Not anymore. Not really. No. One, two, matter. three, four, five, six. Six out of eight. Because they'll be going against battleships now anyway, so. Yeah. Six. Six out of eight. One, two, three, four, five hits. So five, so two, four, five, six. Eight. Yeah, that's done. Okay, so this is where I need some hits. So four. Everybody needs to hit. Everybody needs to hit. Seven. One, two, three, four. And one at eight. Five and one at nine. Six. Six hits. That's what I needed. So three, four. Okay, so my commander, roll my, oh, Six, uh, seven. it's going to be a one to four, save so. one destroyer. Yeah, you might want to save one destroyer so that he can yeah, take hits on the battleships. Here we go. This guy's toast. You throw him up in toast. He, he failed the, the, he failed the splash failed test. He failed the splash test. Three, <laughs> four. Mm, you need Jeez, that was two more hard. hits. Excellent round. Did you hit with everything? Two damage last, battleships. Yeah, round? all six. Five, nice. Nice. six. Yeah, I just said fuck America. And, yeah. America, fuck no. Six dead yeah. battleships, and then that's it. He keeps everything else. Oh, uh, so this one is damaged. You, uh, I don't know why yeah. you did it, but now you're going to be losing fighters. Yeah. Well, he can land them on uh, Kura Islands, right? No, he can't. He's in here. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's one space into here. He can only go one space. He's here. That's one. Yeah, but he that's attacked, two. right? He attacked. What? Yeah. From he here. He attacked. The fighters don't... I've been drugged. Here we are, uh, like, our 20th hour. Yeah, yeah. two no, days. No, no, more. Just... It's the end of our third day. It's uh, so 9.30 at night. <laughs> <laughs> and we still haven't started the last and round yet. Fun. Unless uh, you want to keep, like, these all alive and just take damage on... Four more battleships. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna repair them. So how money? many battleships did he damage? Seven. Seven damage battleships and the Iowa, right? Okay, so so now we're uh, now yeah, we're going up to Sporo. Okay. Yes. Now the evasion right. force. Wait, he had eight. Yeah. Yeah. I fucked that up. Go for it. You got a five and then two whites, right? Yeah. But he's also got the GI that's not Three, four, Here. five elite, which attack at... Six. Six. Seven. No? No, you're listening to him. No, they, they attack at three. Yeah, but uh, you're going into mountains, so they're only going to attack at two because the commander yeah, was, five, in, the, was in the water the fight. Top, he's yeah. not in the other fight. Is there three five th attack three defend five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So they're all going to attack at two, and yeah. 
Your tank's not going to attack in the first round. Mm -hmm. the survivors. Quite so there's another pink one over there. Six damage battleships, seven including the Isla. Two still repaired. And then you crazy. got one, two, three, four dudes. Mm. So you got four at one and four, five, six. And I'm plus one on my defense, aren't I? Yep. Sapporo, right? Is that every round? Hmm? Every round I do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got that dug in defense thing. It's yep. like a city for every place. Six at two. One. That's it. Yay. Okay. And what was the other one? Uh, one, two, three, four. Four at one. Nothing. Okay, so I've got plus one on all of those. Um, does that mean I get plus two on these guys or no? It's one bonus, right? Yeah. Only one bonus. Okay. So, so I screwed up by buying all mountain infantry then, didn't I? But I had the commander too, right? No, you didn't. The commander, the commander's is, that commander's there. The other commander was in the water, not oh, on the land. Gotcha. Okay, so, yeah, I screwed up by buying all mountain infantry then. Unless I was coming over and getting them back. Yeah. Well, if you attack them, then it'll yeah. be Yeah, so that'll be okay. So I got three at three. One. And then two, three at five. Yep, three. Yep, three at five. So two all together. And I have to lose Marines? It doesn't matter. You can lose two dudes instead of a Marine if you want. So that's two, but that's one. Yeah. I think that only counts as one kill, right? You take the Marines so that you don't take the double casualties. Yeah. That's one. Well, you still have to take another dude then. Yeah. Take two Marines. Or four four dudes. Four regular dudes. Okay, so now your tanks are hitting the ground. Do you want to... Okay, hello, it's Ray Kirkus here. We have finished the game. We've completed July 1945. We stopped at 11.45 at night, or 11.30 at night, so we're not going to do any more. We could have done a variable end or any of that stuff, but it's just, there's just no point. So this last turn, a lot of crazy stuff was going on. It's a bit gamey, just trying to get points. But, um... Yeah, when it comes to that, um, General Hand Grenade certainly did his homework. He knew which points he needed to have turns ago, whereas everybody, a lot of us, were, we uh, don't always go with points here. So this is the grand total of income at the end of the game, not including bonus points. So Vici's still at three, France is at four, Anzac's at their starting income. The Netherlands and uh, Turkey are both at 8. FEC is at 9, I believe. Um, 14 for the Italians. 30 for Britain. They're up quite a bit. Um, Japan's at 45, also up quite a bit. Uh, Russia's at 47. Germany's at 47. And the Americans are at 67. So, um, just going to go over the last couple turns here. I missed the video in between the last two turns. I was so busy doing everything else and going, oh shoot, it's nine o'clock and we didn't eat anything. So I'm going to go get some food together and whatever. Well, the guys kept playing. So then I forgot to do a video. And then by the time I came back downstairs to do one, it was, uh, you know, oh, I got to do my Russian turn. And there you go. So yeah, we'll do the video now. So this is the end of the Global War 36 to 45, 36 setup. And uh, just a general overview here, um, we had uh, General Hand Grenade as Germany in black, uh, Italy in brown, Turkey in uh, kind of gold, goldish brass, br br copper color. It's hard to see, but it's a nice, really nice metallic. It looks really great. Um, and Japan in the red. So then we had... Uh, Moose in uh, covering uh, the British Empire, which is the Australians here, or Anzac, 
and the teal or light blue green whatever you want to call it um fec here in uh, tan and the british in uh, tan as well so he's had a few things here he even finished the game off with a bit of extra stuff here and then uh, we have brad here as a uh, usa and france with his multiple commanders because everybody was at war with him and he had no money all right so let's see last turn we'll just go over this a bit here we'll start with germany so last turn germany was doing a bit of a spam here and they were finally successful took over a bunch of stuff down here in uh down here in spain beat up the the british and the americans and landed in here the germans actually had taken uh, gibraltar and then they lost it to the americans and couldn't get it back um I, last turn I talked about all that naval warfare there so we'll leave that alone um let's see what else is going on here uh, germany attacked russia and then russia attacked germany and then nobody had any money or units um in fact, these units right here were sitting right on Bessarabia last turn. And there was only a jet fighter here in Romania, but I just couldn't reach. Because uh, those units couldn't blitz in. They had to attack here first, and all the stuff that could blitz did. And, uh, yeah, I was short by one. And a uh, little point about the, uh, the um, commander's expansion. I love it. Um, we went over the rules when the Russians had, a, or the Germans and the Russians both had a commander here for the fight. And then as per the rules, immediately after this battle is complete, the, the defeated commander does his role and escapes. He can go anywhere he wants. So smartly he went into Romania where I was going to blitz into. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, I don't know if that was the thing that turned the tide. We were both, uh, it was it was very tight odds and it all came down to rolls and you know rolls were were about average but uh, you know I lost all my units and he had one left so there you go so he he stacked up Romania with the reinforcements the last turn here and as a result I just didn't have the units to take it over so I also had quite the stack here in uh, Lubelski. And the plan was to take over his point over here, but uh, he managed to get a whole pile of stuff uh, built and railed and flown over and whatever and took me out. And I just didn't have enough units for a counterattack. Well, I did have enough units for a counterattack, but I didn't have enough units to go anywhere else. They couldn't reach anywhere from anywhere else. That's as far as they could get. So that's it. So yeah, Germany built some stuff last this last turn just because they were going to get hammered by everybody. But uh, Russia did no building and neither did anybody else because uh, there was no, no point in building units unless, you know, somebody had an opportunity to attack you after your turn was complete because you weren't going to get another turn to do anything. All right, so what else happened here? Um, yeah, we exchanged a few places up here. The British took away the Narvik uh, from uh, the Germans there. Uh, Britain also this past turn here landed in Western Germany, just barely squeaked it out. Um, they shouldn't have been able to get their hit, except for they brought so many planes and the Germans had fighters there and their, all their tanks missed. And then the fighters had hits, but it was round one, so the fighters had to take the hits on all the, the, the air superiority rounds, right? So as a result, one guy stayed alive and he managed to land. So that was a weird one. Um, uh, let's see what else happened there. A lot of transports got taken out by General Hand Grenade since uh, the uh, British and the Americans had no fleet left, but they had a bunch of transports planning on uh, landing in uh, German controlled lands and putting some pressure on them. But uh, yeah, they just uh, didn't have enough troops there, so so it. Uh, or enough uh, escorts, so they lost a bunch of transports. This is all they got left. I think the British used to have two or three more, and the Americans had a couple more. Um, the Americans came in and... Uh, what did they do? They had taken uh, over something over here. I can't remember anymore. Um, 
Russia had taken their uh, transport from out by Portugal and landed in Yugoslavia after they, at the same turn, they tried to eliminate Romania. And Germany didn't have the troops to be able to take it back, so Italy took it back. And uh, the whole point of that was I was just trying to disrupt one of their points. Uh, it didn't really matter, though, in the long run, but uh, there we go. There was a furious battle between the British and the Turkish and the French and everybody. And this is the aftermath. Like, everybody had a pile of troops before. There was stacks here, stacks there, stacks over there. And everybody got wiped out. Um, Britain, in this mad attempt to try and take some points away from uh, from Germany, attacked here with 12 infantry across a river. And... Uh, yeah, they got one left and they took three artillery or two artillery out in exchange, so not too handy. Uh, let's see what else happened here. Uh, Anzac came in and took the Philippines from the Japanese so that the U.S. could get a point. And uh, there was some craziness going on up here with uh, with the U.S. and uh, and Japan. So Japan had a monster fleet on both sides here last time I. Showing anything, I got a little video on on their rolling when the U.S. attacked one half of it, right? And they brought in some troops and did an amphibious assault here. But because they used all their aircraft in the battle and all their ships in the battle, there was no uh, no bombardment, right? So the Japanese were able to defending in mountains defend themselves quite well, and the amphibious assault was a failure, but. Uh, <clears throat> Because you can't retreat from an amphibious assault, it was stuck there, and the Americans just had to keep on grinding and hoping. Uh, yeah, this guy's up there, but he's not going to make a difference, so he didn't end up landing anywhere because it wasn't going to change any points or anything on the last turn here. Um, let's see what else was going on. <clears throat> um, so, yes, the Americans came in and took this out, failed their amphibious assault. The Japanese then came over here and wiped them out, and they had uh, these three capital ships, which is more than the Americans had because they had no navy left again. And the Japanese or the Americans had brought their transports up here, but they didn't have any defense for them. There's a blocker shield around it, but no defense, right? So the uh, Japanese flew a plane one, two, and hit it, and then flew a plane back right over the blockers. So. That, unfortunately, uh, killed that uh, attempt to land on the island of Japan. Although I don't think that, like, I don't think the U.S. had a chance in the, of making Japan surrender here. So, uh, I mean, it was a Hail Mary, but uh, it was too, uh, it was too, the, the strategy was uh, coming and it was, there, there wasn't a lot of options for the U.S. So Japan knew, knew what may be coming and just to, prepared for the worst and stacked this up and if they didn't need this then they could have used all these troops to attack somewhere else right so see what happens there um let's see what else is going on da, 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 da. Uh, turkey's still here but uh yeah they were trading back and forth with the british and whatnot uh, americans have not too much left. I mean, I, I don't really have much else to say, so I'm just going to leave it there. And um, I'm going to stop this, and then I'm going to do a quick video on the points and what uh, my thoughts are on things here.